Good evening guys, it's 9.30 in the evening and uh, I've just got home. Oh, I'm cutting my head off as well. <laughs> and uh, I've got three bags of goodies down here. Can't remember what the hell I've got in them. I told you, every time I go to Mum's, I come home with a car full of crap. Anyway, I've got... courtesy of Biggles. Another bag full of these. I don't actually know how many's in there but there's also a box there. That box is full of them as well. Got an old RC Mini which um, I'm going to take a few bits off of it and the rest of it will go in the bin. A printer which works, an Epson printer. And a laptop that I'm going to do up for mum. Um, got this off Biggles as well, it cost me £5, another Claude Butler. Uh, it's a hybrid this one. So, as far as I can tell it just needs the seat and post and wheels. Well I've got the wheels for definite, that's not a problem. Uh, there's a lot of screws corroded into the frame because it's an alloy frame. <laughs> Steel screws, alloy frame, yeah the usual story with that. Oxidization and all that lovely shit. Uh, what have I got in this one? I can't remember. Just some random laptop adapters I think. Oh and a laptop battery. Yeah that's all that was in there. Biggles found a load in his workshop. I had to cover the dryer up because that is really, really greasy on this. I do want to get it all over the inside of the car. Right. I also got at the dump three of these hand lanterns. This one's actually got a battery in it. It came with the battery. Yeah, it's actually um, quite a decent one. It's got this red stand on it as well. Takes one of those um, six volt lantern batteries. I got three. Mum's got one, and that required four D size batteries. And uh, I got this one. This is the one that actually came with the battery. I stuck it in that one just to see if it worked, and I've just left it there. Ever Ready brand, Ever Ready branded battery in that one. Both work. But like I said, Mum needed another one at hers because it fell off the fridge. Well, the one I gave them fell off the fridge and it broke. Uh, but I had a pair of D-sized batteries in a bike light on my Ellswick over there. Plus the batteries that were already in the torch that broken. That broke, I should say. So, uh, yeah, she's got another working one. I've got a bit of Mum's birthday cake there. Another sticky. Uh, some emergency glycoside pills, that's what I'll keep those for. Old Rod gets them. 40 best Windows 95 games. Play dozens of the best Windows 95 games for Windows 95. I'm hoping I can actually get this to work on a Windows 98 because uh, neither of my Windows 95 laptops has an optical drive. And that is it. Uh, yeah, like I said, that uh, mini up there, I'm just going to use as parts. I'll take it apart. Uh, the printer. The problem is that print, the Epson printer behind me, is not wireless. It's not Wi Fi enabled, but this one is. But with this one, ink cartridges. Well, Lexmark don't exist anymore, so getting ink cartridges is a bit of a pain. Um, unless I get the remanufactured ones, which don't always work. But uh, Epson still exist and still have many, many ink cartridges out there. This is almost identical to the one Mum has at uh, hers. The only difference is theirs has got Wi-Fi. This one doesn't. And I do believe this has also got some ink in it. <laughs> so, uh, 
yeah. Not sh exactly sure what I'm going to do. Not yet. Uh, like I said, as for the claw, but I've got another bike downstairs, but that may end up just being a uh, parts bike. Because uh, I think one of the um, cable stops on the frame have actually snapped off. <laughs> i tell you what though, this was a bastard to get in the car because of the shopping rack and mudguard. But, uh, shut up. I have, I have, like I said, I've got 700 wheels to go in this. Um, and I know for a fact that's what it is because uh, I put a 26 inch wheel up against this and it didn't even come up to the brake blocks. The tyre did, but the rim was nowhere near, so definitely 700 wheels. Well, there could even be 27s, one or the other. All I know is I've got some alloy wheels I can throw in this. I've got several pairs I actually want to throw into this. Um, They're downstairs, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to pretty much, as far as I know, the gears still function. I know the brakes will still function. So if all I've got to do is throw some wheels in it and a seat on it, then I'll take it for a ride. And if I like it, I'll probably keep this. What is that fucking cat of mine doing behind the... Oi! Shithead. You knock that TV over and I will bloody... Don't know what I'll do, actually. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You scared the crap out of me because I saw that TV wobbling. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm probably going to lean towards keeping this one and not the black claw that I've just done. Um... I'll probably end up selling the claw that I've just done. This has got some nice bits on it. It's got some nice trigger shifters and uh, a nice crank and whatnot on it. It's all in pretty good nick. Rear dragon needs a bloody good clean because it's all full of fresh, soggy oil. If that's even such a thing. And uh, some, in, you know, solid dirt on the pulleys and whatnot. But I think this will clean up quite nicely. A few dings in the frame, but uh, yeah, but I could easily whack my panniers on this one, can't I? Because I had what was it I had before? It was a Falcon, I think, hybrid I had before with panniers on. Bloody good bike, and I gotta get up a hell of a lot of speed on that. So, yeah. Might do that tomorrow, I don't know, it depends how I feel. Uh, got an interesting looking adapter in here. I'm just getting that in the bag. It's a Dell, but I don't know what it goes to. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Um... Output nineteen and a half volt. But it's so Hawksworth appliance testing pass November twenty thirteen. What if that'll fit my little uh no actually looking at that adapter, no it won't. I was thinking wondering if that would fit my little red Dell, but no. I'm sure I'll come across a laptop that that battery will fit. Apparently it is a good one. Yeah, I'm sort of restricted at the moment because I've got the power cord plugged in. <sighs> Ooh, look at that. I've got free bungee cord with it. And there's a light on the front of this. And I'll just unplug it. That'll be enough charge for the time being. That light, it did work when I pressed the button. Is it going to work now? Yeah. <laughs> no lens, but it does work. <laughs> Loads of um, gaffer tape or something on there as well. But if you look at the cables, they're in pretty good nick. Look at that, they're shining. So I think it's all going to work. 
Does it? Yeah, the drag is moving fine. So I'd bet if I actually put wheels in this and put the chain back on properly, I bet I wouldn't actually have to do any um, adjusting of anything. Tighten the handlebar up because that's loose here. It's one of them adjustable stems. The other side of this is actually in better condition than, than this side, but I think it's not going to look as bad by the time you see there's a lot of dirt and filth on it. Uh, may change the handlebar but at some point, but uh, I don't have a good one to put on there at the moment. So I'll leave that as it is for the time being. Yeah, I'll definitely bolt the baggage rack back on. Well, that's a job for tomorrow then. Slap the wheels in this and hope I don't even know if they'll hold air. <laughs> uh, see, the body's not even screwed down. It's got all these wires coming through the back window for something. No idea what that's for. Bigger battery. But yeah, I don't want that bit. I can go straight in the bin. Is this bit I was interested in? The guts of it. Take that circuit board out. I'll see if I can get that bad uh, motor out of there as well. 27.145 megahertz. Yeah, I think it's actually, this is not a professional one. This is just a toy one. So I don't think I can change the crystal on it. <laughs> that's the only reason I grabbed that. Well, he gave it to me. So that's the only reason I took that. <laughs> Warning there, DC. Huh? 1.5 volt times 8. I don't think so. Yes, someone has been modifying this because there's a big ass blue wire to a switch there. But there's no metal contacts for. Double A batteries, even though this says it takes it. Oh, eight times AA alkaline batteries and battery cart. Ah, it's supposed to have a battery cartridge. Ah, I thought it was one of them NICAD batteries, but it's not. I suppose you could modify one of these to use a NICAD pack if you really wanted to. It's got working suspension. <sighs> Stinks. Smells old and that sort of old and foisty smell. That is some really piss poor soldering on that. Look at that. Let me just get that tape out of the way. That really I'm not sure I could actually solder better, so I can't pick at it too much, but that really isn't good. <laughs> and there's a wire off down there as well. What the? It looks like there's a little sensor in there, I don't know. I'll have to take this apart. So I've got to find out what this big brown wire's for that's flailing around here. Oh, we've got a big blue one as well. Hmm. And one of these big blue ones go to the switch. What have I got this feeling? They've modified this at some point. Yeah, because there's another one of them things in there. Look. The brown wire goes to it. Yeah, I bet this was uh, modified to use a bigger battery pack. Hence why there's wires flailing around. And I bet the ones in the body may have been charge wires to charge it. That's the only explanation I can think of anyway. There's wire. Oh yeah, of course there's wire's going to be going in it. There's going to have a bloody servo for the steering, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No hand controller for it though, so... I suppose I've got a chassis there. I could put my own body on it, couldn't I? If I was that artistic and creative, but I'm not. Says he who builds with Lego, but that's completely different. <sighs> right. I'm going to shut the camera off. Whoa. 
shut the camera off here, I think. Um, Coke has been there all day, so I'm going to go and get it fresh. Uh, yeah, the other bike I've got downstairs is just a budget bike, an Emil. Mm, it's, it's doable. I could clean it up, but if that cable stop has busted off the frame like I think it has, and it's not worth it, it'll be a parts bike. But um, the tyres are still holding air. And I moved all the gear levers and whatnot. All the gear derailleurs moved. I don't know if it went in all the gears. But at least the gear shifters moved. The brakes worked before I disconnected them to uh, get the wheels in and out. Cantilever brakes, but they, as in work, I mean they pulled fine. So um, it's just looking rather rough. So uh, I'll have a look in daylight tomorrow because it was getting a bit dark by the time I noticed something wasn't quite right with the rear brake cable. Uh, but it's not actually a problem to be honest, I could just put a cable tie around it. Because it's one of them where you have the cable outer isn't in section so you've got a bare bit of cable like on my claw down here. The outer runs all the way from the brake lever down to the brake. Um, so it's got like three guides on the crossbar to hold the um, cable in place. And I think it's one of those that's broken off. So maybe if I really wanted to, I could just stick a zip tie around it. But uh, like I said, I will have a good look over tomorrow in daylight and uh, decide its fate tomorrow. Well, until then, even though I had roast dinner at Mum's, I'm actually feeling peckish. So I've got some sausage rolls up there and some HP sauce, because I want something different. Uh, and a chunk of uh, cake to munch on, so I'm going to do that. Get a fresh cola, and uh, I'll come back later on. I'll let this camera charge. Okay, so... Uh, I've been playing some GTA. I've got Trevor up on one of the um, police station roofs. So I was using the invincibility cheat just to have some fun with the police. Um, but I thought I'd uh, take a closer look at the Toshiba. This is a Toshiba satellite L450D. 13U. Shush up you. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'll take a quick tour. That's where the hard drive would be. That's where your memory would go and that's your battery. Uh, we'll start on this side I think. We have two USB ports, a blanked off modem socket, um, power pack Try again, power socket, DVD multi drive, it's a re um, you know, DVD and CD writer. Can't believe they still make them. Does anyone actually use CDs that much nowadays? On the front here, <laughs> got microphone, headphone, or even external speakers if you wanted to, volume, an SD card reader, and on this side. External VGA, Ethernet, HDMI, and a third USB socket. Uh, and as always with these new modern laptops, nothing on the back. It's uh, in pretty good condition, cosmetically. No, there's not really. I haven't seen no cracks, no deep scratches or anything in it. So I'm actually wondering why the hell this was thrown away. No hard drive, I've got to get one and fit it. Um, it's got an AMD dual core processor, 2.1... Yeah, no, yeah, 2.1 gigahertz. Was on Windows 7 originally. Um, I've had it into BIOS. And uh, as far as I can tell, the keyboard fully functions. Uh, so, in theory, 
all I've got to do is uh, install a hard drive and reinstall Windows 7. Considering it's not going to be, well it's relatively modern, finding the necessary drivers shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, shouldn't. <laughs> It does amaze me what people throw out down that dump. I mean, Biggles has come back with um, perfectly good smartphones. Um, some Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, they're not ultra modern, but uh, you know, they're not. Um, ooh, that was a nasty crack. They're not um, old either. Well, probably a few, I don't know, a few years old. But people have thrown them down there in the box with all the charges and everything. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at these. I've got three of these torches. Lantern-style torches. Or flashlights, if you want to call them that. Complete with one with a brand spanking new bloody battery in it. Granted, the red paint has actually gone red paint, the red plastic has gone pink on this ever ready, but you can get LED bulbs that fit these on eBay, so you could easily upgrade it to an LED. But uh, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I bought these. Um, well, one of the reasons is I'm always using, losing, sorry, not using, losing my small ones. So I'd like to see me lose something this size. <laughs> now I keep misplacing that one and all the other little ones I have, so I thought I'd get a couple. Plus these have got a good beam on them as well. So, uh, yeah, it's shining quite nicely on the wall out there, through the glass. It's not a bad beam on that one, actually. I have to stick the battery in the Ever Ready and see what the beam is like on that one. Oh, my friend just signed off while I've been chatting away. I think he might have. I think he might have. Yeah, okay. We've got our live feed up for the fast servers because I saw our fire engine go out when I was playing a. Uh, on the thingy over there. Oh, and I've actually counted up. I've got 22 in total. 21 still in packets. And one in my box of bike lights under the bed. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all yet, but uh, I could put them on some bikes when I sell them and get rid of them that way. Or mum wants to um, do a car boot at some point. I could take them with me, uh, you know, see if I can get rid of a few on a, at a car boot sale. I've got lots of other stuff I could actually take as well. I could even take some bike parts. I've done that before and actually have sold them. So that is a possibility. Uh, not a very interesting video. Uh, not much to say about the printer either, except it's an Epson printer. <laughs> it's USB cable, obviously, because there's no Wi-Fi, but uh, I don't know whether to install it. I mean, I could actually install it, perhaps, on that one. Um, and just use that one to print stuff off of, or to print stuff from. So if I actually stuck a load of sort of open office programs and whatnot on there, that could become my um, sort of office PC kind of thing. I don't know. Or just a spare PC. But the stupid thing is, this is a different model to the one my stepdad has. But it looks identical. Absolutely identical. And I really think the only difference is that theirs is has Wi-Fi and this one doesn't. <clears throat> that 
is the one advantage over that Lexmark. It does work. I can still get ink on eBay. Pardon me. But, uh, not a lot of, oh, hello. God, I had this. But, considering it was kicking around in my friend's workshop, I'm not going to count my chickens that this actually works. Does it tell me how big this is? It's Toshiba. It's an 80 gigabyte. That would be perfectly adequate for Mum, actually, this would. Because uh, she's not one that saves anything to a laptop or anything like that. She just uses it to occasionally go on Facebook and play her bingo games and browse eBay. That's pretty much it. So, what I might do is take that ridiculous caddy off because I don't think I'll need it. I'm going to put it in this, maybe before I go to bed, and just um, see if it recognises this, but uh, like I said, I'm not counting my chickens. <laughs> uh, I have actually got one more I can try. I'd rather not pinch it from my Red HP, even though I can't remember where I put my Red HP laptop. <laughs> Yay, the lights are burning away. They're not actually as bright as they were, but... Hmm. Bright enough. Do I stick the hard drive on my after back? Mm -hmm. Is it this one? Nope, that's an IDE one. I've got one more somewhere. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me, I've got to find an iPhone charger cable up for my stepdad. I know I've got a couple, but again, I've got to find them. He wanted me to give it to mum tonight, but one, I didn't want to run up, run up and down the stairs like a fiddler's elbow. Oh, pardon me. And two, I've got to find it anyway. Because um, I can't actually remember where I put it. I've got a rough idea, it could be in one of a handful of places, but it's just fine again. I think I've actually just gone and fucking found it. I have. <laughs> oh dear. Isn't that typical? I'm going to put that back in my coin pot, because at least I know where the damn thing is. I think I am going to set that Epson up. It's got all the paperwork with it. Um, it was Biggles's father's, uh, but since he passed away, I guess they don't have a use for it. Right, that hard drive I was that I'm thinking of was actually on here. So where did I move it from here? Presuming I moved it, of course. got a desktop hard drive. <laughs> oh well, it'll turn up. I can but try. But uh, yeah, my stepdad's got a decent laptop, my brother's got a decent laptop. I wouldn't say I've got a decent laptop but it does what I want it to do. <laughs> um, in fact I'd probably rather use my XP there but so I think it's about time Mum got one. She keep wanting the one my brother's got, but the way I see it, this is better than the piece of shit she's using at the minute. Uh, it's not over here, is it? No. Mm, no. Right. I'm actually pretty certain it's not far away. It's probably still in this lounge somewhere. Anyway, I'll find that later. I think for tonight I'll see if I can... ...test this. I'm actually... I know what I'm going to do first. I am going to borrow it out of my 
red Acer. Just for the simple reason, I know that hard drive is a good one. Um, so at least I can test to see if this machine is uh, going to recognise a hard drive at least. So any hard drives I put in after that. Yeah, I've got a 320 gigabyte drive on this one. That came out of that pink or purple, I think it was an Acer mini netbook thing. Something like that. So I need that and I need my sc screwdriver tool, which I saw over here. I'll lay that out. I'm not going to bore you with it though. All I know is I've got to open up here. Doing this one handed is so awkward. Ooh. Ah, what the hell, I might as well do it. Test this hard drive. Could do with, um, I'm not worried about the cables, I can sort the cables tomorrow. Get that friggin' bag out of the way. Let me see it there. Mm, so I'll see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna move my cycle out of the way. Only because I keep tripping over the pedal. Right, I'm ready, I think. Hope I don't need any other tools because they're actually downstairs in the shed. Couldn't be bothered to take another trip downstairs just from a toolbox, so I just stuck it in the shed with me bike. Right. This one is the dead Wi-Fi card, but I don't know if it's still in my pocket, but I did actually have the um Yes, it is, I think. I've got to solder it back onto the board. I've got to solder that little thing back onto the board or even try and uh, super glue it maybe it's the little thing that the um, screw goes into to hold the Wi-Fi card down my stepdad tried to drill a screw out because we couldn't get it out of this one and it pretty much just shed, sheared the little uh, nut off it's fixable or I could even take the thing down but somewhere over here Go. It's another one. Pretty much identical to the one I took out of this, so in theory, the driver should work. Yeah, right. I've got to try and get this poxy hard drive out here now, and it's not an easy task. <sighs> Don't think I've got any flat tip screwdriver. Actually, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um, you know, I've never prepared for things like this because I sort of do it on a whim. I don't actually plan ahead. I just sort of uh, <laughs> do it as I go along, sort of thing. Hang on a minute, my game's got to shut off. I don't want it to shut off. There we go. Right, I'm flat tip out of here. Where is it? That's too small, that one. favourite screwdriver tools I've ever bought, this one. What I've got to do is try and push these hard drive brackets out first. They sort of slide in to hold it in place. I'll show you in a minute. See, that's what it, I've got. I've just pulled that one out. 
you've got to sort of slide it that way and then pull it out and then you can uh, remove the hard drive but you've got to remove these first and this one I'm now tackling it's always the pain in the ass to get out so I'm going to take that out I'm going to take that out RAM in this one. Same amount of RAM that's in this Toshiro. I think they're pretty much the same spec, really. But uh, I'm actually going to have a look on eBay and see if I can find an identical one of these as spares repairs so I can make a good one out of the two. Right. Uh, I need a clover leaf power cable, don't I? Yeah lay that on there. I'm not going to put that in yet. Flip it over and we'll see. Um, apparently there's no hard drive caddy either. Uh, the owners who took the hard drive out have obviously decided I'm not even going to do it, say anything to Nemo because if I do I'm going to scare him and he'll fall off the bloody window ledge. Oh, back up your tit. He's tried to go from one end of the lounge window to the other on the outside, but the other end is closed. It always scares the hell out of mum when he does that, but... After seven years of watching him do it, I'm sort of used to it. And I know that if you just let him do what he's going to do, without panicking, he won't fall. My sister panicked once and made him fall. <laughs> He's alright, he's fallen several times from that window. I'm surprised at everyone that he does actually survive. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, plonk that in there. Clip the hard drive cover down. Like that. Over. that. Find a clover leaf cable. Like so. I've got to untangle the bloody thing. That took Internal power in and we'll turn on. I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see it. Right. Well, that ain't a good start. Put a hard drive in and absolutely frig all happens. I found out why that was thrown. So I'm going to make sure that's in there. And I'm going to try again. Ah, now we've got something. Test fail. Ooh. Should we see if it'll start Windows? Because there is Windows on this disk. It might if we're lucky. Then again, it might not. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Well, that's answered my question. I know it's going to um, pick it up on hard drives. So my next task is to uh, try this one. I'm 
try the other one as well if I knew where it was. But this is going to need the hard drive caddy because the um, hard drive won't sit in there nicely otherwise. So, um, I know Biggles wouldn't want to spend money getting it working, so that's why I'd buy it from him as it is and fix it myself for Mother. Which is what I was actually intending to do as a birthday present. That didn't sound very healthy. Let's just go with the system's BIOS and see if we've got it. Ooh. The BIOS has picked it up, the hard drive is there. Yep, it's there. Well, that's a good sign. That's all I wanted to know. So I've got a hard drive for it. I just haven't got... the um, hard drive caddy. Alright. That's something I'm going to have to sort for this then, isn't it? Gonna have to source one. Close that. Just so I don't lose it, I'm gonna put the cover back. Like that. Two screws. Just so I don't lose the screws either, because I know what I'm like, I'll put them up and then I'll forget where I put them. Because I put things in such a great safe place, I'm always forgetting where I put them. Like that other hard drive. I'm actually surprised that hard drive is actually being recognised because uh, it's got a bloody great dent in the end of it. Right, so that's that one. I suppose I should replace the hard drive in here. Throw that one in the bin because it's no good. Plenty of laptop screws so I can replace the missing screws for this hard drive caddy. Not an issue. In fact, I've got the screws right here that I can use. <laughs> One. Two. Like that. And, uh... Believe it or not, the two screws that go through this panel hold the other end of this in place. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit this Wi-Fi card in here so I don't lose it. Uh, I think I've already lost the um, thingy piece. I wonder if I could put a different screw in there. in there, hopefully. The Wi-Fi wires, that is, hang on. Don't know why Mum would didn't want this red one, because uh Again, it's a decent laptop when I get it running, but it's just a few of the cosmetics need uh, attention. But for me, I'm not worried about what it looks like, I'm worried about how it functions. 
and if it functions correctly, ah, I can see my little doodah over there. I don't see why I couldn't solder that back on. It's only got to be strong enough to hold the um, Wi-Fi card down. Uh, I'm going to set that on there actually. Now what's the better than I forget that's on my um, box over there. Right, so I've got these put together. Hmm. Now I'll just get a keyboard for this I think. Yeah. Right. Time to shut the camera down, I think. And it's getting late. Nearly half an hour playing with a laptop. Right. Oh, sit down here. I'll uh, say good night. Thanks for watching. Uh, so I got. Two laptops to get going now. Nemo's looking at me pissed off because I told him to come indoors. What? <whistles> no, he's ignoring me. He's pissed off. Yeah. Right. Thanks for watching. Oh, my voice went all squeaky. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.